So happy to see all of you. I have been reading and I can't wait to tell you about something incredible. Do you all know what book I'm reading? Yes, the Bible. The Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. And today I'm excited to tell you about a man named Gideon who had a really big army. God did something that Gideon didn't understand. But first, I'm going to need your help. I want all of you to stand up and pretend to be brave, strong soldiers. Stand up straight and tall, put your hands by your side, face forward. Now when I say march, I want you to march in place like brave, strong soldiers. Are you ready? March. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. Now halt. That's army talk for stop. Good job. You make perfect soldiers. So Gideon was just a farmer. Gideon loved God and Gideon trusted God. God chose Gideon to lead his army. That's right, Gideon led God's army. One day, God told Gideon he had too many soldiers. Too many soldiers? Can you really have too many soldiers? Well, that didn't make sense to Gideon. He did not understand. An army should have many soldiers, right? Well, not this time. God said there were too many soldiers and that some of them had to go home. So Gideon did what God said and he told all of the army soldiers that if they were afraid to fight, they could go home. And that's exactly what a lot of the soldiers did. Gideon looked at the army after all the soldiers had marched home to see how many were left to fight. That's when God told him there were still too many soldiers and that he should send more home. What? Now Gideon really didn't understand, but Gideon trusted God and listened to what God said. Only 300 soldiers stayed. That is a very small army, but God told Gideon he would win with 300 soldiers. God wanted everyone to know that Gideon won because God had helped them, not because they had too many soldiers. And if God said that they would win the battle, they would win the battle with 300 soldiers. Gideon knew that God loved him and always wanted what was best for him. And do you know what? God loves you too, and he always wants what's best for you. You can be like Gideon and trust God no matter what. Let me hear you say it. Who can trust God? I can trust God, that's right. So when things seem extra hard, I want you to remember that God wants to help you, and that's why you can trust him. Come on, say it like brave, strong soldiers. We can trust God. I can trust God. That's more like it. Let's pray and thank God that we can trust him. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for helping us trust you. 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We've had so much fun learning that we can trust God just like Gideon trusted God. Our memory verse and motions this month is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Great job. Hey, mom and dad, we want to encourage you to make a verse cube this week with your little ones. It's fun and a simple game that you can play together as a family. Well, that's it for today. Until next time, bye friends.